my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of Are You Dying to Know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. So these are all chemicals. These ones are all chemicals that go into the arteries. Yep. Go into the body. Yep. For embalming. Arterial. Yep. Okay. Right. As opposed to? As opposed to these chemicals that you do not inject arterial. Why? Because they're quite corrosive and would damage, um, damage the arteries and everything. So these chemicals are your cavity fluid. So you know when we're talking about cavity embalming, mm -hmm. when we're doing the trocar and we're aspirating, and the chemical we use is this chemical. Now this chemical is strong. This will knock your socks off and put you out. This is really I'm bad. Not smell that you one. shouldn't smell that one because it's really bad. It makes your eyes water as soon as you take the lid off. It's quite a dangerous one. Well, they're all dangerous, but it is a nasty, nasty. It's a 48% one, this one. Mm -hmm. So if you were to artery, uh, put these into the arteries, it's just too corrosive. What happens if you get that on your skin? It, I, I've had like, it on my skin before. Yeah. It turns it brown. And burns it mm. so it gives you a burn I've okay. accidentally had it on so it burns so basically it's just too corrosive and it would um, damage and dry out the arteries and damage them straight okay out. so you, how do you apply that so okay. it goes through via the trocar which so you happen yeah. to have there so it goes through here so what you would do is take the lid off and pop that in there okay so that's attached and once it's attached to there we take that off and that's you yeah, in the end, and then you would put your bottle in, and it would drain into the. Is it just draining via gravity? It's a gravity okay. embalmer. So the, it's, this is a this is gravity as opposed to the Pumpy. tank, which is arterial yep. and pump. This is actually a gravity um, trocar, so it's got holes. You can probably see. So we have done a video on the trocar yeah. that you can go and find, but. Yeah. Um, so just to recap, so people don't have to watch that video, before you actually do that, you've taken the trocar into the tummy. Yeah. So we've aspirated. Okay, so we've sucked everything sucked out of there. The it's basically fluid yeah, and gas fluid out. Fluid and gas. So we took all, we've taken all of that out, and then we're going to put the embalming fluid in, which is a cavity fluid, which doesn't go in the arteries, but it goes into the cavity. It's very strong, and we we administer that through this other trocar, which mm -hmm. is a gravity. Uh, mm -hmm. Injector, so it's a gravity injector, right? Gravity, you just tip it up and it will just pour in, and you just and that just stops all that from decomposing. Yeah, so you've got that area now embalmed. So when you've done your arterial embalming, which is through the arteries with your arterial chemicals, the last thing you do is cavity embalming. Mm -hmm. So you'll aspirate and then you will add your cavity embalm. Right, so and sometimes you only cavity embalm and, and not sometimes, the rest yeah, of it. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes you only need to do that because we don't embalm everybody. And, and you only might need them to keep for a couple of extra days until the service yeah. or to go home. Yeah, and we may just use this for if we've got them in the fridge here and they're not born anywhere, we may just do a cavity embalm and that's all. Mm -hmm. Or if they're distended and they need it, we have to do it yeah. because they yeah. will decompose quickly. Cool. And also, the other one that it does not go arterial or into the cavity or anything, but you've heard me talk about it before, is the quadrant. Yes. So, the quadrant is the one we do topically. Yep. So, I apply it to cotton or web roll and we'll apply it topically like skin slip. I would pop that on and dry it off. Or quadrant, I would inject into bruises because this will bleach bruises. It's easier to cosmetize over when you inject under the skin mm -hmm. slightly, just under the skin. It'll um, take that bruise out, so it'll take the redness away, it'll bleach it white, so it's easier then to put uh, makeup over the top because it's hard to cover red. Mm -hmm. It's easier to cover white. Mm -hmm. okay. So you would uh, do that with just a needle and syringe, injecting or topically any uh, abrasions that need covering, you'd use your cauterizing so that's that. That's the chemicals you use. So that's basic chemicals. No one needs to use the big. Yeah, 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 yeah. So well, you know, the, there's a lot. There's a lot of different chemicals. There's a lot of different products. A lot, a lot of different. You know, people all might go on about that, but I use this. I use this product. I use this one. I use this one. I don't use this company. 
yeah, I like this company, but there's lots of It's all personal preference yeah, and yeah, what yeah. you can get your best and results with. Yeah, yeah, and what people have used for years and years and years. And what companies use, because different funeral companies all use yeah. different um, Product of suppliers. suppliers so, yeah. so what is the end result you're looking for? What's a good environment look like? A good environment looks like somebody that looks restored back to you know, a viewable site that's not um, either bloated full of edema or sunken in and emaciated, you know, to try and get that person back to a, a reasonable um, stage for the family to view uh, or for the service. In, in Embalming is about, it's all about preserving, it's the preserving of um, that person. So uh, it's preserved for longevity, if I mean, two days, three weeks, ten years whatever yeah so if it's not done right and you send someone home for the night because the family custom is to take them home yeah, whatever, what yeah. can happen uh, if it's not done correctly um, and you uh, haven't embalmed correctly um, they could decompose right because and in the course of 24 hours they could start that. to yeah because when you do embalm you've got to watch the changing of the Skin and also you, you can add dyes into your chemicals so you can see the dye going through so you can see the changing in the skin and the colours and everything but sometimes it looks like it's changing and you know it's a bit like if you haven't got all the rigor mortis out because it firms up, it firms the tissues, it firms everything up you could be mistaken that for the fluids got through and you think oh I've got enough in that arm and I've got enough in that arm when really you haven't got enough, you haven't got enough volume in there so you think you've embalmed but you haven't, so you've got to be careful. So what would they actually see? You send someone home that's not embalmed properly for yeah. 24 hours, Yeah. what do they see? Mainly it's the, the arms you probably would get away with, but it's mainly the face if that's not embalmed properly. There would be a smell and it would start to um, basically dry out and also start, you, you would start de decomposition across the eyes the nose, all the tissues that are really soft and thin and you would see changes. Colour change? Yeah, you pro probably see colour change. Right. Yeah, because um, you know decomposition can start starts to change colour, you know, when you go through the processes. Yeah, but if you it depends if they've got the heating on or you're in a hot country yeah. or they've got the or they're in an icy cold room. If they're in a cold room with the aircon on, it's pretty good they'll probably be last you know yeah but if you're talking that you haven't embalmed them correctly and they've gone home for three or four days that's when it starts to get really bad but well, overnight you might not notice as much yeah. it's more the, the longer you have them and it's it's the same as if you haven't embalmed them correctly and they go on a repat abroad and it's taken like three days to get to wherever they need to be and by the time they get there the, the black and the decomposed and the swollen and the uh, purging and everything because the chemical hasn't penetrated. So, so you got to do it right. So yeah, you've got to do it right. So it's all about uh, your measurements and your weights and the, the weight of the deceased, the, um, the cause of death of the deceased. So everyone that you embalm goes on the scale? Uh, yes, yeah. So we weigh everybody. Okay. So we need to have the right body weight. So yeah, we'll, we'll weigh them um, before I do any work. So we know what cool. chemicals we want, we know how to mix it, we know the volume, we know the percentage. And this video is probably going, no, 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 no. All right, I think that's about enough about embalming. Yeah. I hope that answers some of Andrew's questions about what yeah. chemicals you use. Yeah. The difficult and the, what was this one? The decomp? No, what's it called? What's the, that one called? The Omega Decomp. The Omega Decomp. And okay, Trace, well, thank you for sharing all that yes. information. You're welcome. And um, hopefully none of us will come up close and personal with any yeah. of your chemicals anytime soon. Hopefully not. Because they're a bit stinky. No, I think you might have to cut this into 10 slots. Maybe. <laughs> Bye, guys.